What's up guys and welcome back. So it looks like maintenance is scheduled for MSL on um, January 29th and I figured I would go ahead and check out these patch notes to see what we got going on here. Um, it says we know that many masters are waiting for the balance patch and it is in progress. However, we would like to know what masters want. So they have the survey. Um, I clicked on the survey. I haven't submitted anything yet because I'm actually going to go through and kind of look through some of the mods that I have ideas about in the past that could be reworked to actually make them viable. So once I go through there, I'll probably do like a little list and fill out the lovely survey, which they made like seven pages long, which it should have only been one page, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, the dark contract is being added. Um, it's, we get a preview of it at level 45 and then the dark contract will begin at level 46, which is great. Um, there'll be one mission for each of the 10 days. So I'm assuming after 10 days that we can get it, but for everyone over 46, do we just automatically get it or do we have to still wait this 10 days? I'm not sure, but I do believe that there was like a photo on Reddit showing that, um, you only need to be level 50 to get your dark mod, which is phenomenal. Um, personally, I'm going to be going for dark Odin because I could use, um, more waifu booty in the game since I already have light Odin so why not have dark Odin as well um, hopefully either Valkyrie and Arthur or both of them together get a buff because they're kind of a they're not bad but I mean as a dark contract I would expect them to be at least be OP OP but they're again they're not meta changing anyways at this point in time because at level 45 you should be doing golems you should be doing dragons you should be doing a whole nine yards so it's not really a big issue um they're adding in new skills and skill improvements so crit rate up is a new skill which is interesting deactivates with buff breaker skill increases crit rate for all allies by a certain percent so this could be helpful if it's more than i don't know five percent uh if it's five percent max is going to be garbage. Um, scheduled to be applied in game with new Astromon. I think that's the new Astromon they hinted about. Um, that's coming next month. It might be that one mon that won the Astromon. The create your own Astromon challenge thingy in September. I'm assuming it's going to be that guy's Astromon since we got Bast a couple months back. Um, resistance down again is going to be in that new Astromon, which is probably I think I think it's a Nat five. It should be a Nat five. So. Again, uh, we'll have that. Um, fearless Taunt. Okay, wait a minute. Resistance Down weakens enemies resistance, which would be interesting. Um, I'm kind of curious to see how that will work, especially in a PvP environment. Uh, definitely could help for Titans as well. Fearless Taunt reduces damage by percent for X amount of turns and then grants percent chance to draw enemies' attention for X amount of turns. So this is kind of a... Um, above the taunt like I talked about in the Artemis video where taunt is becoming a little bit more useful so if taunt does go off and the monster does take aggro whoever has taunt on is going to take less damage from them so they're going to be a little bit more tanky and last a little bit longer which is again great and then we have the lovely old sap where decreased sapped enemies resist resistance by percent only and the rate is fixed regardless number of saps so of course there's going to be a cap on the sap uh, we don't know what that um, percent is yet until it's actually implemented in the game. Um, hopefully they have thoroughly tested this so it does not become a failure. But it wouldn't make sense if sap decreased resistance by 10% flat out per sap. So if I stack on 9 saps on a golem, he's going to have like no resist. That'd be, that would be insane. So I can understand that. And it says decreased resistance can be overlapped with resistance down skill, which is great. So we can stack sap and resistance down which might help change a couple of things in the game. I'm not sure how much it could change, but anything with high resist, we could potentially still get them hit with sap as long as sap is still viable in terms of a damage method. Um, this is also for, um, it looks like the slime soldiers have gotten a balance patch, which uh, hopefully this should be their stats in the first place, but let's go ahead and check it out. For the Fire Slime at Evo 3, his HP went to 25k, which is okay for an attacker. 3k attack, 2k defense, and no one cares about recovery. Um, his attack and HP is pretty solid, but again, his defense is still awful. His defense is still awful. Um, and Slime Soldier is single target. Um, I would say I would recommend him because of his attack, but because his defense is so bad, he's still not viable. Still not viable. 
Um, Slime Soldier went from 28k HP to 24k. Um, attack went to 2.3k. Doesn't really matter because it's a defender type. Coming in with now 3k defense instead of 2.7k defense. And recovery, again, nobody cares about. Um, solid buff. Solid buff for Slime Soldier. I mean, slime, if you're going to use Water Slime, um, his sole purpose is is for debuffing he's not really there for da damage I know they come with elemental edge all of them but he's not really there for damage so having 3k defense as a 3 star is pretty darn good that his defense is higher than a lot of nat 4s to be honest and probably some defender type nat 5s um, the wood one um, 27k HP now 2.7k attack 2.1k defense Again, still would not touch. It's not worth it. I can't even remember what the wood, the wood slime's moves were. So definitely not worth it. Um, the light slime. He went from a balance type to an attacker type. Uh, 27k HP, which is okay for an attacker. Uh, he went from almost 2k attack to 3k attack, which again is phenomenal. That's phenomenal. And the fence is coming in at 2.2k. Um, pretty similar to the fire slime, but it is light um do wish his defense was a little bit more though especially with him being a four star four star but overall um quite a good increase on him is he viable now i mean i would i would say use him guys if you don't have a mon like this he's basically i don't know he's similar to a light dart obviously not light dart himself but um, he's pretty similar to Light Dart. Um, he and again, they are they are single target, so I can't really specify exactly where you would use them at. But if you're just starting a game out, you've only been playing for a month or two. If you can get hold of a, a Slime Soldier, by all means, man, go for the Light One. Try and build him up some crit rate and some attack on him, and see where he gets you. Obviously, for older players, they're just like meh. But uh, the Dark Slime Soldier got a decrease in HP. A slight buff in attack, a slight buff in defense, and he is still 155% garbage. So, I would say if you're going to build the slimes, again, go for the water one if you need a debuffer for titans. Um, and at least pick up the light and dark just to have in case they ever get a buff again. But the only possible, possible usable one out of possible usable mods out of the bunch would be the light and the water in my opinion um it looks like the capture fest is being extended to february 2nd uh lunar new year packages um we can get a legendary golden egg a high light and dark egg and a gleam egg that to me indicates that this is going to be cha-ching cha-ching so that's probably going to be about i don't know 40 50 bucks for any of these packages it'll probably go up from 50 to like 80 to like 120 bucks um bug fixes colossus dungeon auto battle continuing in certain situations the turn of debuffs reducing by one turn for each manual team swamp great ashaman league ashaman counter as used even it crashes during the loading starting starting from second battle i don't understand what that means Astromon counter as used even if even it crashes during the loading starting from second battle. I don't know what that means. Um, Bug with Finnick appearing as Evo 3 regardless, regardless of stage difficulty. Capture mission. Overall skip but not showing during the battle starting animation. And it looks like the skill books have gotten a decrease. So for everyone out there that has spent crystals already for skill books, um, congratulations, 43, 433 has just played you. Congratulations, you've played yourself. Um, 300 crystals for the five star, 90 crystals for the four star, which isn't bad at all, and then nine crystals for the three star. Quite substantial for the five star, in my opinion. 100 crystals is a big deal. That's three more pulls minimum. Actually, technically, four more pulls minimum, which is great. Um, we can now manage the inventory during the battle when it, it when it is full, which is great. Uh, region defense optimization. A loading process is added between the first and second team to decrease the excessive memory use. 
again phenomenal hopefully that will help decrease any crashing people might be having um, we can cancel super ever super evolution so if you pick the lowly form of uh, succubus but you wanted the uh, grown-up waifu version then you can stop it by all means and go get your grown-up waifu version this probably would help people uh, quite a lot a while ago but rest in peace um, the above costumes are all included in the order you you will be appeared as a costume regardless of your evolution status super evolved astromon can only wear super evolution only costumes we know that there's no effect there's no change in the effect all the of the mp script display will be 1.5 times faster which is great oh, oh yeah i forgot something um they're just adding in the text for Draca's puncture, so there's no nerf, or nerf on fire Draca's puncture. They're saying that instead of saying enemy's defense, enemy's base defense. So that was kind of confusing as well, even though the lovely people of Reddit have found that out. But that pretty much sum, sums up the schedule maintenance for the 29th, you guys. Um, please let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, like I said, I've... I've already made a water slime and a light slime. I'm going to keep them no matter what just because they look awesome. Definitely looking forward to Dark Odin. And um, definitely looking forward to what the new probably, possibly, Nat 5 looks like. But um, just let me, let, let me know what you guys think. Um, are you guys excited for this update? Uh, is it what you wanted? Are you done with MSL? Which I hope you aren't. But yeah, guys. Um, as always... Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. I'll catch you guys next video.